Now, the same three balls we are taking. Now this time, we tell why the balls are like this based on the property called density. What is density? Density defined as it is the ratio of mass to the volume or mass per unit volume or mass divided by volume. Anything you can say. D equal to M by V. And SI unit of density. Mass is kg. Volume is meter cube. So kg per meter cube. Different solids, different liquids, different gases have different densities. In other words, due to different densities, we have different solids, different liquids, and different gases. For example, if you take water, water has a fixed density of 1 gram per centimeter cube. A fixed density of water. Suppose if I, uh, if you take uh, a board, a body of mass 3 kg, whose uh, volume is, volume is 6 meter cube. And if I ask what is the density of this block, then see the formula density equal to mass by volume, mass is 3 kg, volume is 6, this is nothing but 1 by 2, 0 0.5 kg per meter cube. That is the density of the body. Like that, different solids have different densities. Now, if you compare, if you compare the water density and this block density, see carefully. Water density is 1 gram per centimeter cube. This block density is 0 0.5 kg per meter cube. Now, you need to compare. So, it is gram per centimeter cube, it is kilogram per meter cube. So, either you need to convert this into kilogram per meter cube or this into gram per centimeter cube. So, what we do here, let me take uh, the body density to convert into gram per centimeter cube for the comparison. So, 0 0.5 into kg means 10 cube grams by meter. One meter equal to how many centimeters? Because centimeter cube, no? one meter equal to 100 centimeters. So, 10 square centimeter whole cube. So, quickly if you do the calculation, 0 0.5 into 10 power 6 minus 6 minus 3 minus 3 gram per centimeter cube. So, this is uh, nothing but equals to 0 0.5 by 1000. Simple if you do it uh, more simplification, uh, 4 zeros, 3005 gram per centimeter cube. So, by doing let us uh, first calculation, we got 0 0.305 gram per centimeter cube. So, I have converted kilogram per meter cube to gram per centimeter cube. Now, this block has the density of 0 0.0005 gram per centimeter cube. Water has 1 gram per centimeter cube. Suppose this body is dropped in the water. Now, what happens? Does it sink or float? Yes, you are correct. It floats because it is less density than water. The objects whose density is less than 1 gram per centimeter cube, they float. More than 1 gram per centimeter cube, they sink. So, if you apply the same knowledge here, see here, see the third one. The third one sinks into the water because its density is more than water density. It floats it on the surface of the water because the density is less than density of water. So, that is how we can say why the bodies are sinking or floating based on the densities, based on the buoyant force. As I mentioned you, different substances have different densities. If you take different metals, if you take different substances like gold, silver, aluminium, iron, steel, different fluids like Fluids means gases, helium gas, neon gas, organ gas, liquids, milk, kerosene, etc. So, all these have different densities. But you know, for commercial purpose, for measurement purpose, it is a good practice to take relative density instead of just density. Now, what is relative density? 
relative density is defined as it is the density of a substance with the density of water. That means we are comparing the density of substance with the density of water. Why we have taken density of water? Guess. Yeah, the answer is very simple. Density of water is 1 gram per cc or 1 gram per centimeter cube. So, as is 1 in denominator you have get 1. So, it is easy to calculate. So, I can say uh, this formula can also be changed to density of a substance by density of water which is 1 gram per centimeter cube or density of substance by 1 kg per sorry 1000 kg per meter cube like this. For example, density of uh, silver. 10.8 kg per meter cube 10.8 kg per meter cube not 10.8 10.8 into 10 cube kg per meter cube if i ask you what is the relative density so relative density rd equal density of silver which is 10.8 into 10 cube by density of water which is 10 cube because 1000 so, both are cancelled. You got 10.8 is the relative density of silver. Now, the question is what is the unit of relative density? Just you see density by density. Na? So, gram per centimeter cube divided by gram per centimeter cube both are cancelled. That means there is no unit. Only have the number. So, whenever you want to compare, when you want to use the density of different substances, it is the best practice to take the ratio of density of substance to the density of water. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.